city. We are uh, beautifying a very nice luxury apartment. The landlord has a very good reputation around town. He's known for having very nice apartments and he's well respected. Here in the country I was born in, we use 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, the bare of the green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors, however, you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220, 240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. So I'll show you how to install this uh, project source uh, vanity bar light. So the living room have a nice, fancy, decorative light. So we want to, there's the studies here, so we want to mark the Shut the breaker off. off the outlet here. Easier just to re-strip them and get nice new connections. Do that loose first and put our wire mold in here. So I'm going to see if I come up. Okay, if I go. Okay, if I come into this one, this one will screw into the startup wire. Here, we held it up to see how high we want to put our switch.
make sure you don't have any sharp edges here that can damage the uh, wire. And this is our factory edge here. So we'll go in on this one here. But we'll put our, uh, we're going to put our switch. And on this here, we got to make sure we get where we're going to go into our studs. So we'll put this on here like this. Down all the way. Make sure it's down in this seat all the way here. sheetrock to screw into, you know what? We'll just praise the Lord and be thankful for sheetrock to screw into. Amen? We're not going to get frustrated. We're not going to get flabbergasted. We're going to thank Him and keep our eyes on Jesus. And we're not going to get upset. We're not getting frustrated. We're going to have sheetrock to screw into nothing. So I'm going to try to come over this way. Beam is sitting up by the This way. There we go. There we did get a good solid piece of wood to screw into. Okay, now we gotta push this thing down again. There we go. Now we're ready to go up to our light. So now we go straight up this and we'll be right in our beam for our light. Okay, we made this one here to be right on the stud, so this is our factory edge, and this is the edge we cut here, so we're going to make sure we get all our sharp edges out of here. Okay, now we can tuck this down in here.
straight. enough down there for our switch. We're going to get enough up here for our light. And cut it nice and long so we have enough room to put our ground screw and put our box on. We put our green bonding screw in here to bond to our box. Rip my end here where the wires are going to be stripped. Ground wire up here, we'll go around our green screw and bond our ground wire to the box. Make sure it's nice and tight so we have our black is live, our white is neutral. Now we're ready to put our box up here. tab here on the side to run our wire mold through.
And uh, remember, it's time to show you the instructions at the end here. Okay, so we got to get our uh, bracket up here to mount our light onto. Shorten these screws because they're a little bit too long. They'll hit the back of the box. I can wiggle it back and forth like this to get the uh, threads to be good. Okay, we'll get it in. Okay. Okay, we'll get this tight here. This tight over here. Bring our ground wire down. We'll get it on this bonding screw here. going straight across like this. We'll just tighten our screws up. We'll take these nuts off because these will hold the fixture.
Okay. We're going to use our orange wire nut since we're using 14. Copper even at the end here, like this. Copper is even at the end, like that. There, put our wire nut on. Okay, now we'll hook our black and white up. Strip with our 14 gauge hole. We'll strip these a little longer so we get a nice wrap around the uh, get our uh, insulation even at the top. Bring our strands down like this. We'll wrap our strands around solid wire like that, get our copper even at the end and insulation even at the bottom. Put our wire nut on, make sure insulation goes up into the bottom of the wire nut. <clears throat> and we'll do the same with our black. We'll get our insulation even at the top, bring our strands down, and wrap them around like that. Copper even at the end, insulation even at the bottom. My wire nut on like this. Make sure insulation is up in the wire nut. And now we're going to put our uh, into our box up here. We'll put our ground back in here. We'll get our black and whites up into the box here like this. Make sure our wires are all inside our box. We're going to get these, these wire nuts up in here. Okay, we're going to all up into our box here.
nice and solid. I'll do one more little turn just to get it nice and tight. Make sure no wires are pinched. Make sure it's straight. Got little cosmetic pieces on up here. There we go, we got our gloves on. Okay, now we'll run our wire down to our switch. Turn the switch to the outlet. Here. And I'll clip a piece here to get some brown tail. Okay, according to the NEC, you're supposed to ground your box and to your device. So we'll bring our one from the source up, we'll go down to here. Okay. And we'll tail these together with our Tail wire, we go to the green screw on the switch. Okay, 
Lifting this away, you must have tried this time. Okay, so we'll get this back down in here out of our way. Get it back out of our way here. We'll get our weights together here. Fourteen gauge hole. Get our insulation in at the bottom here. Get a nice even twist. Clips go even with the shortest one. Get our wire nut on. Okay, now we just have our two black wires to put on the switch. So fold these back so they're out of our way. Now we'll put our switch box on here. So we'll open up the two we're going to be using. We're going to use this one down here and the middle one up top. Track on both sides. I see my light is in the track all the way around. Now I'll bring the camera up close so you can see the light switch being hooked up. So we'll take about an inch off of our wires here. You always put your wire around the screw the direction the screw turns. Okay, we'll put our ground wire around our green screw. Close the loop of the direction our screw turns. Make sure our copper is under the screw head all the way around. That's what we want, like that. Now we'll flip it down this way. We'll put our doesn't matter which two wires goes on each screw. Close our loop. Make sure it's nice and tight like that. Get our other one up here. It's tight and our connections look like that there. Now we'll fold our wires to go into our box. Make sure our wires don't get pinched by our screw when we fasten our screws down here. We'll make sure our screws aren't going to hit the wires. Finish this by hand so I don't strip my holes out. 
That screw's not hitting anything. That one's not hitting. That's not hitting. Our ground wire is over away from everything. I was bent to bring it over a little more. Make sure you don't puncture your conductors. Make sure we're clear of everything. You know what? You don't frustrate. You don't carry on. You just score your wire carefully here. Go down the middle. And if you cut your conductors underneath, so be it. They get cut. You don't frustrate. You don't frustrate. You just pull it out and do it again. And you know what? If that happens, you don't get upset. You don't curse. You just do it again. Amen. Let's do it again and again until it's good. Okay, now we can make our tails up to go to our outlet. Air insulation even at the bottom there. Yeah, I'm just going to twist these three together, clip it even with the shortest one here. Then I'm going to take my tail, and I'm not going to twist them because usually when I try to twist four together, they get all messed up. So I'm going to do this with my fourth wire. Um, even like this. That one's back just slightly, so I'm going to come up here. Just take that little smidgen off. There. Now all four of them are even on the end. And it still looks like it's back a little bit. There, now go all four are even, perfectly even. Get our tail lined up so it's even here. Put our wire nut on. And even like this, put our wire nut on. And I hold the tail so it doesn't get moved around and become uneven. Make sure it's nice and tight. And we can 
put our white wires back into our box. If it's not gonna go, guess what? It's not gonna go. Don't frustrate. You just go to another spot. There it goes right there. There it goes in right there. Okay, we got our ground wires here. We'll get these together with our tail to go to the outlet. We don't have a yellow wire nut, so we'll just use a red one. Okay, we'll get them lined up so they're all even like this. Take it in there. And we'll get them together. There we go. We're not going to get too crazy because I don't want to break that uh, wire off. Put this in our box, into our box, out of our way. And we'll get our blacks together here. If it's not gonna go, it's not gonna go. You don't frustrate. You don't carry on about anything. Just make it go. It is going to go. All right, so we'll get our, I'll get the black one behind these. Now these original ones are short, so I'll just thank the Lord for a challenge. And if it breaks, you know what? It breaks. You don't get upset. You don't frustrate. You just cut the wall apart and fix it. Okay, we'll get our insulation even at the bottom here. Okay, we got them. Hey, they came out even on the end here. So now we can, we'll leave our ground wire up, down up over here. Okay, we got them the same length there, got them nice and even. We'll put our wire nut on. Okay, now we're ready to put our uh, outlet onto our box here. We'll use a nice deep one here. Oh, you 
you know what? Thank you, Lord, for my mistake. Thank you, Jesus. Precious Lord, I thank you. I thank you, thank you, Lord, for my foolishness. I just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So I'll just have to flip it over and put this down on the bottom. And we'll put a piece of heavy-duty metal tape over that and just paint it. I just thank the Lord for my careless mistakes and foolishness. It's, I just praise him because otherwise I would have been cursing and cursing his holy name. And you don't want to do that. You want to praise your heavenly father. You want to worship him. You want to do his will. You want to do what's pleasing to the heavenly father. So thanking him for your mistakes is what you do. You thank him and praise him and worship him. Thank him for your mishaps. Amen. Just worship the Heavenly Father. And if something doesn't go right, it doesn't go right. It's His will. Jesus, praise Him. And if I can't see, it's I can't see. I thank the Lord I can't see then. That's all. It's all about praising the Heavenly Father. There we go. Okay, we're tight, tight. We're in our track on both sides. Now we'll hook our outlet up. Ooh, thank you, Lord, for the poke in my foot. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Precious Lord. Precious Savior. Hallelujah. Praise, praise Him. Praise Him. Just keep your eyes on Him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise Jehovah. Okay. We'll close the screws we're not going to use. Okay, your uh, white wire goes on the silver screw, which is the wide slot. Your black goes on the brass screw, which is the narrow slot. Bare ground wire goes on the green screw, which is the ground. So we'll hook this up. We'll put our white and ground on the that is, it will work that way with the, but it's not the proper way. But you always keep your neutrals and grounds separate, except for in the main panel. You put your whites on the neutral bar and the grounds on the same neutral bar. But if you did do that, put your ground on the neutral, it will work, but it will create a shock hazard. Nice and tight, that's what we want. Now we can push our wires into our box. Now we're going to keep this ground wire down on the bottom here. And we'll fold our black and our white so that they go into the box and they don't get poked on anything. Okay, we're keeping our ground wire down here in the bottom. And we'll put our black and our white in this way. And make sure there's nothing back here that Some of these holes are plugged with paint, so you gotta force it in sometimes. 
Yeah, I see our black wire is going to push against something there, so I'm going to push it up so it doesn't push against a sharp edge there. on and I'll show you the instructions. Here in the country I was born in, up is on, down is off. If you put your switch in upside down, it would say no. So I'm just gonna cover on the alley here. I'm just gonna make sure this wire's not being pushed against anything sharp here, so I'm just gonna screw this here. So it doesn't push against our sharp edge here. Then, let's see if we can push out of this way. No, I'm not pushing against any sharp edges. how to install a nice, beautiful uh, project source uh, vanity bar light here in the country I was born in. Peace. Okay, now we'll turn our breakers back on. Fixtures, you can buy them at Lowe's. 
Uh, they uh, spruce up a very nice luxury apartment uh, to joy to work for this landlord because he has a very good reputation around town and he's known for having very nice apartments and taking good care of them. Peace. Thanks for watching. Stick up. This is an LED light bulb, so we'll stick it up into our light here and we'll see how nice it looks. Alrighty, thanks for watching.